Oh, hello there. It's me, Mr. Roberts, enjoying a lovely glass of water. Now, I'd like to tell you, I'm coming out. And don't take this seriously, because I'm not gay. But I'd like to tell you, I have erectile dysfunction. I have manic depression and restless leg syndrome. Now you're gonna be thinking, some 20 something year old guy has erectile dysfunction? That doesn't make sense. But I only may have these conditions. It's not that serious. Because recently, in a news story being reported by some inferior news organization, like who the heck is AP News? There's some study that someone came out with. In major metropolitan areas, there may be trace amounts of pharmaceuticals and other drugs out there in your water. Because those water treatment plants don't filter out everything that goes through there. When you do look at this water, can you see the Prozac, maybe the Vioxx or Vicodin that should be in this? No. Because it's only trace amounts. You shouldn't take it too seriously. Like, you shouldn't start buying up some bottled water. Like, ooh, Aquafina. That sounds French. I gotta have some of that. Because many of those bottled waters, like Aquafina and Dasani, they're just taking regular tap water and filtering it. So you could still be getting various things in your water. And kids, you shouldn't take this so seriously that you stop drinking your tap water. Because Mr. Roberts would feel awful, would feel real awful if some kid got diabetes. Because they thought they should stop drinking tap water. So they decide instead to drink Gatorade 24-7. Some kid gets diabetes because they stick an IV with Gatorade in it. I wouldn't want that to happen. 